I think they're an excellent side. I knew that before the game. Um, but um, I think, obviously, we were totally second best tonight. Um, when I say so, from the third goal, that was the disappointing thing for me. I thought um, I made the decision at half-time to, to change it and to change the shape to try and get us back in it because you could see first half their fluid movement, the way they play in between the lines. Um, I didn't see us getting back into the game with with the shape we were playing. Um, so I made the decision at half-time to change it. And I thought for 10, 15 minutes, we actually did. And uh, we caused them some problems. But the disappointing thing for me, when, when they scored the third goal, I didn't see enough desire then to defend as a team um, and it really drained us of any belief the third goal and uh, from then there was only one team in it and they looked like scoring every time and of course I have to take some responsibility in that for choosing the formation second half which probably w I wanted to get back in the game with it and, and choose an attacking formation but also when you when you were uh, on the transition or on the turnovers, uh, um, when Spurs are in possession, they're a quality side and they opened us up and punished us up. So, you know, I, as I say, I have to take some responsibility in that. But at at three one, we uh, we looked uh, a forlorn side second half. No, it, I haven't seen that for ages in us and but we're coming up against a quality side there as you say and um, um, it's something I'll have to look at but um, as players to a man um, since I've been in charge they've been excellent and I've not seen seen that before there's no positives no positives no no you get beat 6-1 no positives Um, I'm not sure whether we forget. I think as a as a coach, as a manager, you reflect on it and um, hopefully learn from it. But of course, we have the opportunity to put it right, and that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to put in a performance now on Sunday um, because I've spoke on m numerous occasions over the last couple of weeks about trying to finish as high as possible. This is a real dent in it, but the, we are more than capable of um, putting in a good performance on Sunday, and we need to. Um, I was disappointed in some of our defending, and so I had to make the change. And I felt in Daniel, who's played there before, and would give us the mobility to deal with Harry Kane and Son and Deli Alli and their movement and pace. Of course, and that happens, and you have to hold your hands up sometimes as a player, but also as a manager. And I say um, the reasons for that, I've just explained why we went for it in terms of second half. Not really. It's a disappointed dressing room. Um, words exchanged. I think um, they're an honest bunch. Um, they'll be disappointed with the result, of course, um, and we have to then move on. Yeah, he's got a slight knock on it, um, so we'll assess him in the morning. Well, again, he had a sore ankle, so it um, probably highlightened it a bit. Um, but we'll assess him now in the morning, see how he is. I think we got punished, punished by um, some very good, good play by Tottenham. Of course, when you when you get six one, it's <laughs> it's hard to sit here and. Uh, um, stick up for anything and uh, as I say I've sat in here now in the last 11 12 games and a lot of positives have been about and um, you know I've um, I'm quite realistic when you get beat 6-1 as I've said there is no positives 
Um, it's a very hard result to take, but take it we have to because it happened and we have to take it on the chin, but make no mistake, we have to bounce back. I think in football, when you have these setbacks, you, you have to roll your sleeves up and that's where I'll be into the players tomorrow that, hey, come on, we've got one more game left. We're not going to finish on a, on a low, which this is. I think worst result. Thanks, folks. Thank you.